Time is a vital component in the learning and understanding of students in mathematics. The more time students receive, the better their understanding can become on any given topic. On its own, time can be a vehicle for inclusivity and equity for all students in their learning. David Souza, in his 2008 book, How the Brain Learns Mathematics, discusses time needed for initial and then secondary rehearsal. He says that initial rehearsal occurs when the information first enters the working memory and goes on to say that if the learner cannot attach sense or meaning and if there is no time for further processing, then the new information is likely to be lost. Whenever I have a partner, a lot of the kids in our class work best like when we're all together because we have each other to uh, like support each other and we can like help each other. And if we're like confused, we can like ask uh, another student that like sits beside us or something like, so that we understand more. We kind of like like do equal, equal amounts of work and we like work on the question together and we support each other and we help and explain questions that we don't understand to each other. We talk and we do work at the same time. That, that also helps to calm me. Because like I'm doing something, I'm not just sitting there doing straight math. This secondary phase is where information that has entered the initial phase is started to make sense of. It's elaborated on the details and is assigned value and relevance, and therefore has a significantly higher chance of retention in the memory. developing growth mindset. So um, really the ability, the ability to say, I can grow my mind in mathematics. Like I can um, build those cells within my brain that's gonna, that's gonna you know, get me to a level of understanding, um, which again takes, it takes a lot of time. So when you merge those two ideas around um, intentionally um, some of those educational focuses and intentional um, questioning and uh, those mini lessons and the importance of oral talk, uh, partner work, group work, modeled work, um, looking at Math Congress and some of other student thinking and you merge that with uh, developing a growth mindset around math that, that you can learn too. Um, I think once those two things sort of morph together, uh, then you're really going to get uh, some really amazing results as far as progress. I have a primary junior SSC class. Um, for my students, they really do need that uh, multiple opportunities to play and to construct their own knowledge because if I simply tell them, they won't hold that knowledge very long. My students also need a lot of time to process information. Um, to do this, we make the reflection process very visible to them. Uh, we support their reflections in small group settings as well as one-on-one -on -one, uh, instruction where, you know, while they are doing the exploration uh, and problem solving, we ask them what strategies they have used, what strategies work, and what are the next steps. We used Rec and Rec strings. I did a lot of strings with Rec and Rec and that they could see the numbers and moving the beads up and down helped them students to see the they, to use their strategies, they were able to demonstrate the strategies of doubles or more than doubles or how the numbers could be represented in different ways. Shakao and O'Connell tell us that providing our students with varied opportunities allows them to feel less confused about the mathematics they are learning.